Y'all saw the title. That's what we're doing. Like and subscribe. Y'all got this. Okay, y'all. This video is just for learning how to do multiple side pots. Click the link in the description box if you just want to learn how to do one side pot. You'll see it in this video as well. And later, I'll show you what to do when two players go all in at the same time. Okay, so we're starting off with the pre-flop betting and the small and big blind are already out. The first to act is player C who can call, fold, or raise. The same goes for D, E, and A when it comes back around to A. I have them calling for this example. The last to act is player B who can check or raise. They'll check for this example. Once all the bets are made, the money is put into a pot. Three community cards are placed on the table for the flop. Now, another round of betting happens. Player A starts with a bet of $1,000. Player B goes all in for $700. Player C, D, and E call the $1,000 bet. Now, we can't just pull all this money into the pot since player B's bet is less than $1,000. So first, we take $700 from each player and put that money into the main pot. The main pot is now closed. You can stack a row of chips and aim them at the player that went all in and is eligible to win that pot. The remaining chips go to a side pot for which player B will not be eligible to win at showdown. Another community card is placed for the turn and another round of betting happens. Player A bets $1,500. Player C goes all in for $1,000. And players D and E call the $1,500 bet. Now remember, the main pot is closed, so the money from this round of betting will go to the side pot, but not all of it. Since player C went all in for $1,000, we'll take $1,000 from each player and put $4,000 into that side pot. This side pot is now closed. Again, you can stack the chips in that pot and aim them at the all-in player to keep track. The remaining chips will create side pot 2. The final community card is placed for the river and the last round of betting happens. Player A bets $600. Player D calls the bet. And player E goes all in for $525. I'm sure by now you guys know what's going to happen, but I'll explain it anywho. Since player E went all in for $525, We'll take 525 from each player and put 1,575 into pot 2. Side pot 2 is now closed and again we'll stack and aim some chips at the all-in player. The remaining chips will create side pot 3. Okay, now for the showdown. Only players A and D are eligible oh, bleh, <laughs> are eligible to win side pot three, so only they will show their cards for this pot. A three of a kind beats a two pair, so we'll get rid of player A's hand and push side pot three to player D. Now for the showdown for side pot two. Only players D and E are eligible to win side pot two, so only they will show their cards for this pot. A straight beats three of a kind, so we'll get rid of player D's hand and push side pot 2 to player E. Now for the showdown for side pot 1. Only players E and C are eligible to win side pot 1, so only they will show their cards for this pot. A straight beats a pair, so this pot will also go to player E and we'll get rid of player C's hand. Now for the showdown for the main pot between player E and B. A royal flush beats a straight, so the main pot will go to player B. Okay, that's it. For this next example, it's pretty much the same, but this time, two players will go all in at the same time on the river. Let's start at the flop though for a brief review. Player A bets a thousand dollars and all the other players call the bet. These chips go to our main pot that already has some chips in it from the pre-flop betting. The card for the turn is placed and the betting ensues. 
Player A bets $1,500, Player B goes all in for $700, and Player C, D, and E call the $1,500 bet. Now again, remember, since Player B went all in for $700, we'll take $700 from each player and put that into the main pot. The main pot is now closed. The remaining chips go to side pot one. The card for the river is placed and the last round of betting ensues. Player A bets $600. Player C goes all in for $500. Player D calls the bet for $600. And player E goes all in for $525. I know, pandemonium, right? Now this is really easy. Just start with the player with the lowest bet. So player C went all in for 500, so we'll first take 500 from each player and put $2,000 into side pot one. Now, this side pot is closed. This now leaves the lowest bet at $25. So we'll collect $25 from each player that has a bet out to create side pot two. And the remaining chips go to side pot three. The showdown for the pots will be the same as in the first example. Players A and D will show down for side pot three. A three of a kind beats a two pair. So we'll push side pot three to player D. Next, players D and E will show down for side pot two. A straight beats three of a kind. So we'll push side pot two to player E. Now players C and E will show down for side pot one. And remember, player B didn't put any chips into side pot one, and that's why they can't participate in the showdown for it. A straight beats a pair. So side pot one will also go to player E. Finally, players B and E will show down for the main pot. A royal flush beats a straight, so the main pot will go to player B. Okay, y'all, that's it. Super easy lemon squeezy. If this is strip poker, just treat it in the same manner. A pair of draws gets taken from each member, and the rest of the clothes go to the side pot. Everybody's naked! <laughs> All right, love y'all.